More than a year ago, I created this video comparing Google Assistant to Gemini, which ended up with more points in favor of Google Assistant. In today's video, I will show you what improved since then and what Google Assistant still does better than Gemini till now. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the improvements. Do you remember when Gemini used to open the app in most of the commands? Thankfully, this is something of the past. And now it learned from its predecessor how to overlay answers on the screen, which looks much better. I also noticed better responses from Gemini in certain commands since my last comparison, so I will try the exact same ones to show you the difference. Navigate to the nearest gas station. Okay, chill out gas station Vodafone 2. Let's go. Head southwest on street 31 towards street 32, then turn right onto street 32. In this one, Google Assistant started the navigation immediately while Gemini back then required tapping the screen. In contrast, now it works exactly the same as Google Assistant, which is a lot easier, especially while driving. So let's try the next one. Start my bedtime routine. What time should I set the alarm for? What time should I set the alarm for? Gemini used to lack the ability to start Google Home routines, but thankfully now it can. You will notice here it's still using Google Assistant, even though it has direct integration with Google Home, but either way, it just works. Play relaxing music. Playing relaxing. In this command, Google Assistant was on point. The old Gemini used to give me some suggestions, while now it immediately plays the requested music as expected, which I like. But once more, it's still using Google Assistant to achieve this, so it's not fully independent just yet. Remind me to call my friend tomorrow morning. Sure, I'll remind you on Thursday at 8 a.m. I set a reminder to call your friend tomorrow at 9 a.m. Setting reminders was another issue with the older versions of Gemini, but it works perfectly well now thanks to the Google Tasks integration. Add milk, bread, and the cheese to my shopping list. Sure, I added those three things to the list called shopping. Okay, I've added milk, bread, and cheese to your shopping list. Adding items to my shopping list is one of the best Google Assistant features that I personally used frequently, and back then Gemini lacked this feature. But over time, it got Keep Notes integration, which can handle this task quite well. I also started to notice faster responses in conversion commands. So let me show you a couple of examples. Convert 179 centimeters to inches. 179 centimeters is equal to 70.472 inches. Sure, 179 centimeters is equal to 70.47 inches. Centimeters, inches, 179, 70.47. That's approximately 70.47 inches. Convert $200 to AED. $200 equals 734 United Arab Emirates dirhams and 58 fils. As of Thursday, May 8, 2025, at 7.51 a.m. in Ajman, United Arab Emirates, $200 USD is equivalent to approximately 734 United Arab Emirates dirhams and 60 fills. As you saw, Gemini used to take a very long time to answer these questions when compared to Google Assistant, while now it's much faster. On top of this, Google added a lot of great features like the camera and the screen sharing to Gemini Live, which is now available for free. A lot of new models that can do much more, like Deep Research, Canvas for writing documents and code, in addition to Vue 2 that can generate videos and more. Now it's time to talk about the things that Google Assistant still does better, but first let me remind you about the Wallpapers by In-Depth Take Reviews app. If you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video, go ahead and download it from Google Play Store using the link in the description below. I add 12 new wallpapers per week, and here's the latest batch. So let's get back to the comparison and talk about the features still missing from Gemini till now. The first one is the continued conversation. 
With this one enabled, you can ask Google Assistant back-to-back -back commands without touching the screen. And here is a quick demo. Convert $200 to AED. $200 equals 734 United Arab Emirates dirhams and 60 fils. How much is it in euros? 734 United Arab Emirates dirhams and 60 fils equals 176 euros and 46 cents. Navigate to the nearest currency exchange branch. Sure, Al Ansari Exchange, City Center Ajman branch. Let's go. In contrast, Gemini doesn't support this feature and you have to keep tapping the screen to ask follow-up questions. To get around this, you have to use Gemini Live, which is not always the best option, so I hope to see Google adding this feature to Gemini. Secondly, the read aloud feature. In Google Assistant, all I need to do is to say read this article to start listening. While on Gemini, I have to attach the article first, then tap the mic, then ask Gemini to read it, which is an unnecessary step. And finally, Google Photos integration. Since day one, Google Assistant can search my photos and show me the results I'm looking for as shown now on the screen. While on Gemini, this feature is not yet supported. And as per Google's article, the feature is not available in all regions and is still limited to the US which is a bummer. So overall, since my last comparison in Feb 2024, Gemini did improve quite a lot, but I also wanted to highlight some of the left behind features and I hope to see them coming to Gemini with future updates. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Gemini is the way to go or you still prefer Google Assistant and why? Till then, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.